Hey guys, Camille Calderon coming back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be doing Resistance Trooper. Yep. Resistance Trooper. Give him credit, he was actually in the movie. Unlike some other characters. Comes with this packaging. You know, I'm liking this packaging. Coming with the art of this guy, which I would have wanted to see in the movie, but hey, you guys can't be changes, right? And it comes with the description, of course, and I will read it, of course. Soldiers of the resistance are well trained and well equipped, we must rely on hit and run tactics when face the overwhelming might of the first order. Articulation wise, it can be with heat. Yes. Who's that? Who fell about? Who fell about? Yes. Basic archaicness. Comes with this weapon, same as Poe Damage from the last video. Looks pretty nice. It's a little different because the uh, handle's a little bigger for this guy. And of course, the accessory is this huge thing. It's like a quad cannon. Basically, it's just him holding it. Doesn't this guy look like I mean, yeah, he's pretty cool. Although there's two handles right here and here. I don't know what's that. I don't know what's that for. Like, you're supposed to use that instead. The thing is, I don't think so. I mean, the back, the back of the box. I'm not sure what's the focus here. I mean, but why? Why does it get two handles? You can also maneuver the handles too. Just you know, turn a little bit. But it's handled individually, so you kind of have to do it at the same time. But it looks pretty cool, better than the last one. In fact, I like this figure better than the last one because of the design on the helmet. And, you know, it's just basic uniform. Just like, it looks like a picture from Rogue One. You know, it's not even out yet. So, yeah, that's pretty much why I like this figure. So, I'll see you guys later.